ladies, a brightly big Mac, please. That Chinese takeout and that General Charles are sesame. Those McNuggets freeze, a French fry egg roll, and McSparrow. Here we go. Well, we have been on a tear recently recreating fast food menus. We've done the Wendy's, we've done the Taco Bell. Also, you guys can make this food at home. And what would come next? Well, McDonald's would come next. But, <laughs> the you know, most popular restaurant in the world, of course. Yeah, and everyone in their Nico's kitchen has done McDonald's. <laughs> so I was thinking, you know, like, what, how, what can we do different? I'm up at night, I'm up at night, I fall asleep one night, and I wake up, and oh my God, I have a dream. And in this, <laughs> this dream, guy has a dream. McDonald's <laughs> and Chinese takeout, they come together. You know, Chinese food, you got your general chow's chicken, you got your egg rolls, you got your dumplings, you got your sesame chicken, all kinds of stuff. We wanted to see what would happen if we took the two and merged them into one. Let's make this love child a reality. Probably the most popular dish in all of Chinese food, Americanized Chinese food, I'm not yeah, pretending that this is like straight. authentic, but general Chow's chicken, toast, Chow's, whatever you want to call it. I just watched a documentary about what, what is general Chow's? Who is this general? Where'd it come from? <laughs> Anyhow, the, the idea is that it's this spicy, delicious, crispy, sweet, sticky chicken. So it's like, of course, how can we take a McNugget and make the the General McNuggets, or the, or the McGenerals, or the McSals, I don't know. The like General the McSals. Mc the General McNuggets. The General McNuggets, the General McNuggets yeah, the General McSals chicken. So we wanted to make the General Sal's sauce for the chicken, but we figured let's make it kind of like a barbecue sauce mm. because you got the nugget, you want to dip it in. And this way we can kind of bread the nugget like it would be General Sal's chicken. And we all know Josh has to merge everything with barbecue sauce. You gotta have a barbecue sauce. So to make that sauce, it's pretty damn easy. All you do is take a little bit of sesame oil and got that hot in pan, add ginger, garlic, and some chili. Stir that around a little bit, no big deal. Add some soy sauce, a little bit of oyster sauce if you got it. Smoke if you got them. Rice vinegar, some sugar, and then the cornstarch slurry. If you have never made a slurry, it's super simple. Just take some cornstarch, about like a tablespoon, mix it with about the same, or like two tablespoons of water, mix it together. And then you just pour that in. Once everything's hot, you pour in your slurry. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna thicken it. So it goes from this liquidy sauce to this thick barbecue sauce. They use it in Chinese cooking all the time. It's the ultimate the thickener. Damn, man. And just taste it at this point. You know, if you wanna add more chili, I added a bunch more chili. I want it to be more spicy. Mm. That's delicious, done. But then you gotta make your nuggets, right? So to make those delicious nuggets, we used the uh, thigh, because typically with the general sows, they would take bits of thigh, but we all know with the McNugget, it's gotta be the ground chicken. If you see people making McNuggets without the grinding, then just turn that Get out off. of the yeah. kitchen. So we just took a chicken thigh, we threw it in a food processor, <laughs> blended that stuff, and we got a mixture that actually looks like, I'm sure, the meat that they use in McDonald's. Yeah, even though they're using white meat, we're going with the dark, it's mm. more flavorful. And then we form them into little uh, McNuggy flavor thingies, whatever they're, I don't know what shape they're going for, or who they're trying to trick. It's not, it doesn't look like any <laughs> part of it. That's very true. Who are they trying to trick know. with that shape? I guess they did a lot of study, test studies that. showing that that shape, people really like that shape with a little hook on the top, and then toss them in the freezer, that just helps it kind of stay firm. Then for the batter, super simple. You just take one egg, you beat it up, you add soy sauce and a bunch of cornstarch until it's like, it starts to get pretty thick. Very thick, just keep stirring it. You'll see, it's gonna, it's gonna fight you a little bit, but just keep stirring it until it really is this like thick paste. Very pasty stuff. And that is the ultimate General Chow's batter because all you have to do is just a single dip. It's not like a three-part breading. It's yeah, super easy. It's a genius dip. You dip it in, you fry them up, and you fry them until they're delicious. You hit them with a little salt on the way out of Chinatown, and then you just, you're done. You got your nuggets. Uh, you can either just, you know, leave them plain or you can dip them in the barbecue sauce. Or you can coat them in the barbecue oh sauce. God. We figure why not give you a little extra taste of the barbecue general nuggets. Best of both worlds, baby. Oh, you think I'm not eating these, son of a bitches? Just grab it. Oh, got it. Oh my god. My McDonald's or my <laughs> Chinese takeout? I don't know. Show me what you're made of. I'll show you how to really eat one of these. Josh ate it like a bitch. Whoa. Mick General? Mick General, there you go. Mick General. Go Mick General. <laughs> uh, the 
Big Mac and the chicken nuggets have kept McDonald's afloat for all these years. <laughs> Not to say they've needed help, but these are the two things. They have a, like a lot of iconic menu dishes, but these are the two things. These are the things. big boys. We wanted to do something extra crazy for this Big Mac, right? We were thinking, what's a popular Chinese, you know, Americanized Chinese takeout dish? Beef and broccoli. Mm. So why not make a beef and broccoli patty and then make this brown sauce, but like the Big Mac sauce meets the brown sauce, right? First we took some broccoli, we blanched it off in water for a few minutes so it's nice and soft. Then we blended that up and just mixed it with some ground beef a little bit of soy sauce, and some salt and pepper too. And then you form these patties. What I like to do is I like to put them on parchment paper so I can peel them off. Because the thing about fast food burgers, they've gotta be super thin. Not like a quarter pounder, you know, but like these these standard. If it's not thin, it's not fast Yeah, if it's not thin, if there's any, I've said it before, but if there's any chance of medium rare, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's gotta be cooked, cooked all the way or not, right? So it's so thin. And then we just fried them up a little bit of sesame oil, which is cool. It adds a little extra flavor. For this Big Mac brown sauce, the big brown sauce, I'll call it, <laughs> take some mayo. We use QP mayo, but any mayo you got. Ketchup, rice vinegar, soy sauce, some chopped up pickles, or like, you know, relish, and a little bit of that. Chinese hot mustard. So very reminiscent of that Big Mac sauce. Once you smell the pickles, you're like, yeah. oh, McDonald's, it but it had a little Chinese flair. It was straight umami with the ketchup yeah. and the soy. I made mine a little too watery up, I say, like add a little more mayo. I'm gonna blame yeah, Mike for that. So though. how would you blame me when you made it? You just said you made it. But I'm gonna blame you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Older brother privileges. Okay. So for the bun, let me talk about Mike the bun first. So again, we took that AP dough, but we did a different technique. One of my favorite things in the world is the sesame pancake you see in Chinese cooking. So I took that AP dough, I rolled it out in those sesame seeds, and again, I just let that thing rise in that MacGyver style tin foil mold. But what I did this time was instead of just baking it off, I actually fried it in some oil on both sides first. Got it super nice and brownish. Look at that. Then I threw it in the oven for about 10 minutes to cook through. That was a pretty unique bun because I'm trying to switch it up for everything. Keep Smart. it unique. Very idiot. First, you want to take this bun and you want to slice it thin on bottom and then thin on top so you've got three buns going. That's the classic Big Mac. You need that middle bun action to and separate the two patties. Exactly. And then we toasted those a little bit. I don't even really call it toasting. We fried them up a little bit in some yeah. oil. It's optional, but helps a lot, especially when the bun is a little old, day old, you know, bullshit. <laughs> uh, so we took the bun, you put that down, you add one slice of cheese, and we torched it just because we can. Uh, then add a little bit of sauce, add a bunch of scallions, and a burger. <laughs> then another bun. And then you add some more of that glorious sauce, a bunch of scallions again. You gotta add those pickles, because without the pickles, uh, it's not gonna taste the same. Yes. Then another burger and a bun, and this thing was the most insane creation I've ever tasted. It tasted like a pretty awesome mix between- Definitely Josh's favorite. He was freaking out. He basically ate the whole thing before I could get a bite. There's a little bit more here, you son uh, of a bitch. Oh, the time has oh my God. It's just leaking. <laughs> <laughs> he's, gotta, he's gotta remove mm. his jaw. Oh my God. That's the best. Yeah, the better, burger. better than the Big Mac. So much better. Wow. Show me that bite, Mark. One over another. Suck my nuts. <laughs>